Hey you ones, welcome back to my channel, 20BLB Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, it's just this hoe. Girl, I have a haul video today, but first I have to thank our sponsor. My sponsor of the day is Teddy Blake. Girl, they're having a semi-annual sale. The big sass, girl. Um, bags up to 75% off. What? Y'all remember my last tote I got? The Vanessa. Ooh, this sexy beast right here. Look how good she still looks. And I'm going to tell you something. This isn't my stuff in this bag. I carried this as my overflow bag and my tote bag for a while. And then one day I went to get it out of the car and it was gone. Found it in my daughter's room with all her stuff in it. My stuff just thrown out. Yeah, um, so when I tell you this is all her stuff in there, when I tell you that this bag has been used, uh, I won't say abused because she does carry a bag and carry a bag hard. So it has taken a licking and it keeps on tea. I mean, it looks, it looks like the day I got her. But listen to me. This bag has been carried. So anyway, um, tons and tons of bags for you on the Teddy Blake site. A lot of people ask me, um, what am I, what would you buy if you had a chance to buy your first designer bag all over again? Girl, I buy Teddy Blake and the deals that you get, they're hot bags. They look great. They wear great. They are great. Definitely. Hashtag Teddy Blake. Definitely go over. I'll have all the links down below. Now, this sale is going on till the 19th. If you miss out, don't worry. If you're watching this after the 19th, no big deal. Still go over. There'll be some sales going on, but you can also just use my promo code and get a discount. <gasps> mind blown definitely go check out teddy blake thank you to them for sponsoring today's haul video let's get on with it girl i have some coach as you know and i wore my coach today oh bag of the day bag of the day now bag of the day would be that but you know my daughter she snatched it right up and it's her bag of the day <laughs> but this one because you know we've got the pride still going on and I love this bag so much. I'm going to set it back here because eye candy. Right there we go. So, yes, that is bag of the day. So, what did I buy from Coach? The first thing, and it, this just came in. Remember when I was so excited about being able to shop on there again? This was the first thing that I was sneaky enough to get from the outlet. Because at first, the outlet was like, mm -mm, no. But I made a mistake and I used... I think my own address but then I was like why did I do that because on the regular coach retail I used my husband's work address and I got it that way but I got the cutest little micro bag as y'all know because I'm crazy 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 I'm going crazy 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 just to thinking about you lately remember that song oh I loved Casey and Jojo oh um, anyhow <laughs> I get sidetracked easily check this little okay that is the first thing that i'm showing y'all today in my haul is this little tiny i don't think this was specifically for pride but it came out prior to and it does have all the like rainbow different colors i love this i would like to have the backpack but then when i get a backpack i never wear it i end up selling it it's just a whole endless circle and <laughs> cycle of rinse lather repeat or let's see lather rinse repeat there we go so i don't know that i'll get the actual full size one but i do think this is so so friggin cute so i got that in the haul today the second thing that i got so yeah the outlet pieces took a little longer to get here even though i ordered everything around the same i want to say within a couple days of each other just because i was so excited that oh, i'm ordering from coach again what yeah girl so this thing uh, I think I got a deal on this for like $32. I'll link everything that I can, of course, as you all know. Um, what? Look how cute. So this, when I first saw it, it had three or four different colors, maybe. Gosh, their snaps are good. <laughs> Girl, my snap's good, too. Don't lie. <laughs> this thing reminds 
reminded me of a recto verso. Isn't that what they call that? The, I really want one of those from Louis Vuitton, but I just never break down and get it because it's like 600 and some odd dollars and then I find something else that I like and yeah, it's just a whole thing. And plus we're not using credit cards anymore, so I can't, I can't. But anyhow, look how friggin' cute this is. It's a little ID case, like wallet card case thing, moment. God, they wrap these so well. And then you can put your cash in here. Your little ID goes here. Um, it snaps to the side of your bag as a bag charm. I just loved the purple of this. And then back here, you can put cards here or you can put cards right up here. So I was just like, okay, $32 instead of $632. Yep, today's the day. So I just love this, this purple color. Um, I really want a bag in this color, but then I say that and... Uh, I'm trying to be more mindful, except, oh yeah, she's buying all kinds of crap. That's not mindful. That's just crazy, right? So let me put this one back here. So yes, I love that. I thought that was such a cute little flex hanging off your bag. I just like it. And then if you want to run to the store, you got all your stuff. I love it. Okay, so <laughs> I already showed you these particular slippers from Coach in another haul back in the winter, probably around my birthday, I think I bought them. And I am rough on slippers. I go through a couple pairs. Well, I go through one a year. And then, um, yeah, so I'm constantly, I, that's all I wear when I get home is slippers. Um, but I got the red pair for my birthday. And so those were kind of wearing out. And I went back and I got the blue this time. But this time they were like 40 bucks. So score on sale. I might have paid like 70 for the first pair. I splurged a little because I thought, oh, these will be the last pair I ever need. Mm -mm, I've already almost worn those out. I've, I've washed them and everything, but I just, I love these. Um, these are so comfortable. Let me just tell you, I've worn these out of the house thinking they were shoes before because they just feel like a shoe. I actually wore them to the chiropractor one day back in like January and I felt so crazy, but I, I didn't realize it until I actually got there. And I was like, oh God, I have on slippers. And they were like, we won't judge you. <laughs> so anyhow, I love these. Um, I don't know if there's any still available, but I saw some on Macy's and then I saw them on the coach site. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. I've been buying clothes. Um, not that I really need any clothes. <laughs> But I bought some. Now this, remember I went crazy about those Donna Karen sparkly shirts. I just thought those were so cute, the DKNY. I found these on a website and, I'll drop some stuff. Um, on the model, on the plus size model, um, they looked really good and really comfy. And I thought, oh, those will be cool for, you know, spring, summer. Honey, okay, these are huge on me even. I did get my size but they're a little big, but they're gonna be good lounging pants. But girl, <laughs> not no spring and summer moment. These are fully fleece lined and thick as hell, but they have that little gathered thing at the bottom and they kind of come up past your ankle. And I just thought, oh, these would be a cute, cute little like jogging pants moment, something thin and, not, and I don't ever look at things. So I didn't realize that they were actually, no wonder they were on sale so much because they were left over from winter. <laughs> But um, when I tried them on, I was like, wow, these are really big. And Bill's like, they look cute on you. And you're not going to really wear them out, are you? And I'm like, no, because I don't normally do animal print. But <laughs> I just like these. They look so good on the model. But then again, I am not the model. So, yeah, girl. Uh, so I bought a couple of Lucky shirts. Uh, these were at Sam's for like $9.99 and we bought all the ones that they had at Sam's, but these were some different styles that we didn't have. I found them online. So Bill and I get the XXL because sometimes they're like a lean fit too. Um, and then sometimes they're just huge and we have to wash and dry them, um, on hot to, you know, be able to fit in them. I just dropped that other one. But anyway, just a couple of, um, lucky shirts. I'm going to post some sale they've got shirts for like nine bucks right now so anyway uh this one i'll take this one out of the bag i think i bought this on amazon maybe i can't remember but i just love joan jett and dawn and i got to talking about joan jett the other night i've seen her you know live um 
but I just wanted a, a Joan Jett t-shirt. I've always been wanting one, and I thought this one was particularly cute with the pink on it. Joan Jett, she is the shiz. You know this. You already know, so that's going to be cute. Um, I bought a couple of, so I saw a couple videos where people were saying, get rid of your capris. Capris are dead and over with. They're making you look short and stimpy, and I was like, or stumpy, and I was like, mm. I'm hard pressed for anything not to make me look short and stumpy and chunky. So, <laughs> but my daughter said, mom, you should get some, um, like ankle jeans, you know, that come up and you can roll them up a little bit and kind of cut you between the knee and the ankle, like right around the calf. Those are a little better that are, you know, kind of tighter. These fit and these are cute. And I like this color. Um, but I don't know if I like the cut. They come up weird. They have a weird rise on them. <laughs> or I don't know how to say it, but yeah. Um, it just makes my look crazy. <laughs> oh God, and that's a fupa with a capital F-U-P-A. No, seriously though. But yeah, I got them in the actual jeans too. And on the website, what's so funny about these, they're like, um, what is this coral peachy melon type <laughs> cantaloupe looking color but on the website they look tan so that's why i got them i never read anything guys i never do i just get really excited add to bag add to cart da 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 and then when i'm checked out all is said and done they come in and i go oh wow that's that's not at all what i thought those were <laughs> but story of my friggin life so anyway this next item i am in love with it is a Longchamp piece, um, and I saw a few months ago, it's probably been a while yet, maybe not that long, I don't know, Julie of Agent Bag Reviews um, show this on her channel, and I said in her comments, like, oh my god, I, I most definitely have to have that little thing. Um, I waited until they had their little, I guess they have a semi-annual sale. Everybody have a semi-annual annual sale? I guess so. And when this went on sale, I was like, she's mine. But check this out. So they put little top handles on their little pouches, on most of the little pouches. So I guess this is really a cosmetic bag, uh, I want to say. And now it has a little... So you know what I'm going to do. I'm totally going to carry this as a bag. Yeah, it's not a double handle moment like some of the actual. But yeah, this little tiny. Look how cute. And I want to say, I don't know what I paid, but I want to say 45 bucks maybe. If they still have one of these in any color, I will post it. But eh, I've had it for a couple weeks, so I kind of doubt it. But it is, it is so... I'm sorry, but I was gone. When I saw hers, I was like, yep, yeah, she's got to have that. But look how cute. It's got the little Longchamp zipper pull. Yes, girl. And I got this straight off the Longchamp site. So, um, I don't know. I'm just, I was gone. I was like, I loved their pouches, but now they've added a little top handle. Yes. <laughs> okay. The next several items are going to be scents because you know I've gone scent friggin' crazy. I'm not going to go through all the notes and stuff because that would take friggin' forever. I know y'all don't have that kind of time. So anyway, um, well this isn't a scent, but this is some more Kevin Murphy that I bought. And it's actually leave-in treatment and I don't use this. I thought I was buying resort spray, hairspray. <sighs> But the guy messed up and sent me the wrong thing. And he was so sweet about it. Um, it was an eBay guy. He, I follow these people that sell like brand new um, Kevin Murphy stuff that I can get for like half of what I can buy it at my hair salon or online at the Kevin Murphy site. But anyway, he said, uh, you know, I said, I took a picture. I said, hey, um, you sent me the wrong thing. I'd like to get the hair stuff that I ordered and he was like don't even worry keep that and I'll send the other one out to you so how sweet was that but anyway this is for my little girl I got some more Kevin Murphy stuff she loves this I love this are y'all wanting something tropical for cheap I think this was like 30 bucks 25 bucks and we found this at Marshall's um so every year and we bought the other one too this year's version Escada comes out with 
you know, a summertime scent. Uh, I think this was a couple years ago, the Miami Blossom. It's very pineapple and just tropical all over. Like I said, I'm not going to go through all this. The, you, know, you don't have that kind of time, but I'm not going to go through the notes. But um, I bought that one. Love. She loves that one, too, so she'll probably wear it. And it was a big, huge bottle, girl. What is it, 100 mil? Yeah. This one, which... I heard somebody talking about it, and that's where I buy most of my fragrances. Fragrances, I hear people talking about it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, let me try that. Um, so this was a blind buy. Most of these are, uh, but I got a tester. I actually found a tester for pretty cheap. Uh, brand new, sealed up, never used. Girl, this is a sexy date night fragrance. It came with a little free, um, <laughs> like, bracelet. I guess I'll give to my kid, but... Oh, sorry. This one's called it's La Lique Soleil. So, yeah. How beautiful is the bottle, too? Love. Do you remember when Dawn and I did, uh, we've done it a couple times, we've tested some fragrances. We did the Byredo set, and um, turns out the only thing that I really loved out of that set was Biblioteca. I guess that's how you say it she bought it too which is so strange because we didn't tell each other what we were gonna buy she bought it she showed a picture of it the other day and I was like girl I bought the same one so out of the discovery set we both loved this so good it really is um like I said I won't bore you with all the but yeah go on free Grantica if you want to look up any of these notes um my friend always wears YSL black opium and a couple weeks ago they had like a 20% off sale I couldn't get the full bottle of this Black Opium Illicit Green, thankfully so, because I don't love it. My daughter is crazy about it, um, and she has been into it, but, oh, there's a cap on it. I couldn't smell it if I wanted to, but I just, she didn't do me right, so I like the regular Black Opium a whole lot. I bought this, which is called, it's from Giacomo, it's called Silences, and it's actually the sublime version very earthy woodsy and it's also got a little sweetness to it but yeah it's really good um it kind of looks like an old school bottle i like it got that um i got mancera holidays oh my gosh this is a holiday a vacation a beach vacation in a bottle salty everything oh man it's just like you sat down on the beach and all those smells came back yep that's it so comes in a great big bottle how cute is the way that they package their stuff but oh my god it's so good it's so so good you'll love that one if you ever want to try that um i got dolce and gabbana which kind of reminds me of jean paul gaultier classique i know a lot do it's very vanilla heavy um, but it is the intense um, but look at the bottle. Hello, are they ripping off Tom Ford or did Tom Ford rip? Which way was it? But does it not look like a Tom Ford bottle? It totally does. But anyway, that one's, this is a good one. I'm, I'm, I'm loving that. It is, um, as Kevin says, a banger. Um, so Brooke Sosa, if you ever watch her, hey Brooke, she has, um, a channel and she does perfume, perfumes and scents and stuff and she was raving about this is one of her favorites and it's called it's alexander mcqueen it's called eau blanche or eau blanc um which is just i guess white right oh my gosh this one is so good i love it brooke thank you for um talking about it on your channel because otherwise it would have never been on my radar but so good and it's summery to me i i like it but I, you know me, I don't play that game. I'll, I'll wear them since all year, every year, all the time, every day. <laughs> I don't care. So Ulta is doing, if you've gone on Ulta's website and found Tom Ford for pretty cheap, you're not, your eyes don't deceive you. It's the real thing, but it's like the EDT versions of some of his um, perfumes and stuff. Uh, so I went on there and got, and they're like, they, this one was like 88 bucks. I think now it's like 92. After I bought it, it went up to like 92. Anyhow, it's called Eau de Verre Boheme. Boheme. Um, you know, I don't know French, but look how cute this bottle is. So this is a unisex scent, and I think it is more um, feminine leaning. 
But when you first spray this on, I love this. I wore this. This is actually my scent of the day. It's kind of weird. It's kind of worn off now, but anyway, um, I wore this all day and I need to respray it. I'm probably going to put it on tonight. But anyhow, it's more like when you spray it out, it's like fresh cut grass and then it calms down into something so beautiful. I can't even describe how beautiful it is, but it's soft and it's luscious and it is a, a spring summer scent. It really is, but I don't care. I'm going to wear this in the wintertime because that's who I am. But anyway, that is my scent of the day today too. It's just, it doesn't have a long, it has good projection and sillage and all that, but performance, a couple hours, and then you have to respray. So, EDT, what, I, what am I going to tell you, girl? Okay, so, Jame from um, James Jam, okay, she, <laughs> she has been talking about these House of Sillage scents, and it really got me like, <gasps> I want some House of Sillage. So if you ever do, I'm going to link their website down below. They run incredible specials and discounts, but you got to look at it every day. It's kind of like stalking the site. But this one I got for $144. I know you're thinking, $144? Holy, don't tell my husband. Which was pricey. But girl, this is like a three to $400 scent. Um, look at the packaging. I mean, alone, Lux. And this is a real soft, sexy, it's called Love is in the Air. And it's a real soft, sexy, it lasts forever. You have to wash this off. It's really good. At first it starts up like kind of musky, but then it gets sweet and soft and powdery. It's very powdery. Um, and I like that sometimes. Uh, but look at the Swarovski crystals and everything. It looks like a little cupcake. Their stuff looks like cupcakes. They have so many cool scents and they're really expensive. They can go up to like... $1,200 a bottle, girl. And some of my perfume that is a mother effing miss. I do not love this. I think this is a um, Balenciaga scent that is no longer being made, thankfully, because I hate it. <laughs> a lot of people love this. It's called Flora Botanica. Flora Botanica, hello, which is basically a lot of flowers, right? I like flowers, but with some sweet stuff in there. And this is just basically a floral bouquet. And I, mm, she is not the one. She does dry down it a little bit better than the actual opening, but mm -mm, it's going to my daughter. But I did get this one. Okay, so if I look different or the camera lighting is different or something's different, it's because I'm doing this section um, of the video at a different time. But. I did get an item for the haul <laughs> from Fashion File. Um, I'm just going to tell you, I'll show it to you and everything, but it is a fail, a 100% fail. <laughs> but it came from Fashion File. I had a credit from where I sold them a bag back. And I always, um, well, I don't always, but I like to take store credit when I can because they give you 10% more. And, you know, oops, if you've got something that's like, you know, $1,000, $100, bucks, 2000 that's, you know, 200 bucks. So, I'm all about getting more money, you know, more value or whatever. So, anyway, it was a shoe, guys. Um, came with the box, but look, the box is kind of boogered up. But anyway, I'm not keeping them. They're going back just the way I got them. And the reason is... <laughs> They are slides. They are the um, sunbathe, I think they call that, slide. They were brand new. Nobody has ever worn them. So I was like, cool, great. I had my credit. I was like, yes, let's spin that bad boy. Because remember I DIY'd, I didn't even bring them in here. I DIY'd my own Louis Vuitton slide last year. They are the most uncomfortable. I wish I had done this. I wish I'd found a hugely comfortable, a very comfortable slide first, then DIY'd them. But I ordered them from Zappos, just thinking, you know, any old slide will do. No, ma'am, that is not true. And um, Louis Vuitton, on your best damn day, you will never be Gucci. <laughs> because these guys, I thought were going to be cushiony and their heart is a friggin' brick. So I tried these on. The left one fits fine. 
fine. But apparently my right foot is just a teeny bit fatter. Isn't that always the way? Um, anyway, yeah, so my pinky toe, which comes to right here, really, you know, they fit fine, but they're uncomfortable as hell. And I already have a pair of Louis Vuitton looking slides that are really uncomfortable. So, um, I'm sending these back. And, and if they had felt good at all, they'd be on my feet right now all summer long. I'd be wearing them, but I thought they were kind of funky. They just sort of don't have really a much of an arch or anything and I kind of need that because my feet are you know they're messed up all the time so I just I can't I can't afford to pay this much for a shoe and not wear it at all so of course it's got to go back I mean I could wear it a couple times but what's the point I, I have those other ones if I want to be uncomfortable for and that cost me 75 bucks not 600 and some odd dollars so anyway um What's funny is I knew these were going back, so I had a little bit left of my credit, and they had uh, a 10% off um, deal this past weekend, and so I found a really good bag that I really, really wanted, and so I put a deposit on it and laid it away, so I put it on reserve. So when these go back and my credit hits, I'll hopefully be able at some point to get that bag out and uh, haul that for you or show it or unbox it or whatever. But yeah, guys, these are cute. They came with everything. Like I said, they still have the stickers on them. They're brand new. Um, anybody that wears a 39, these will be going back to Fashion File. So <laughs> check the uh, check the side, okay? Girl, that was my haul video for today. Thank you again to Teddy Blake, my sponsor of the day. Um, definitely, I'm posting all their stuff in uh, the box down below, into my box. Get in there, dig around, find some stuff. Yes, there's promo codes. There's a sale going on. It is going to be excellent. Anything you ever wanted at Teddy Blake. Listen, just go on the site. I always tell you that. Just click on the site. Just follow my link over and look at everything. You will be amazed. Uh, so I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I'll see you back here with a collab video coming up this weekend. We're going to show you all of our SLGs. It's me, Dawn, and Jane from James Jam. It's going to be incredible. You definitely want to join us for that. And uh, listen, I need to tell you one thing. If y'all see my husband, though, girl, don't tell him nothing. Bye. So, I feel bad the other day when I showed this shirt. I was telling you guys about um, how I loved this part of it. You know, here's the traditional coach, or the coach, the pride flag. You know, it always kind of looked like that. It had those primary colors in it. And now, the shirt um, had like the blue, the pink, the purple, and then the brown and the black. So this is the all, and I meant to say this the other day, I just wanted to clear this up at the end of the video because I felt bad. I didn't really explain it right. But yeah, um, this is the all-inclusive flag that they've come up with, thankfully. So this um, blue, pink, and purple uh, trans flag. And then, of course, the brown and the black for um, people of color. So they have created the all-inclusive flag now, and thankfully Coach has picked up on it and put it on their stuff. So I'm pretty glad about that. But I just want you guys to know that, just an FYI. I didn't mean to not include that in the video the other day. It's just, y'all know, sometimes she gets excited and doesn't tell everything right. So anyway, there you go. Girl. Let's get ready for hot girl summer. <laughs> I'm ready for an old lady nap in the summer. Yeah, bitch. <laughs>